What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm finally back. I know when I got back from a trip, I just felt super lazy and like I had no motivation. But then I realized I fucking missed you guys, so I'm back, so I expect more videos. So when I got back, I missed driving this car, but there was a problem with it. Let me explain it to you guys. So you know, I was starting my day, I walked out, I got into my car, super happy, turned the key, boom. Not not boom, but it started like super rough, and I turned it off right away, and I smelled something, and I knew what the smell was. I popped the hood, checked the oil, and there was no oil in there, guys, like nothing. Don't worry, guys, I don't think the motor's messed up. I think I had enough oil just for it to like turn on one time, but I was just like, damn, dude, I started stressing. I was like, dude, what if my car is leaking oil, or even burning oil, which is worse? So one night I got super drunk with the boys, and I asked Luke, Yo, Luke, this is what happened, and he told me, you haven't drove for a week, right? I was like, yeah. He said, yeah, sometimes your motor, all the oil in there, it kind of just moves back into the block or something like that, and then, you know, everything else is not lubricated no more. I was like, hmm, that kind of makes sense. So, I got some oil, and I'm going to test that today. Hopefully, it works, fingers crossed. So, what we're going to do is add it in, and then drive it around for a couple days, see if we have any oil leaks or if it's burning oil, check the levels every day, you know. And if everything's good, then it looks right and we're good. So got my oil here. Uh, this is ghetto, but this is all I have. Hopefully everything goes fine. If Luke is right, then I'm the happiest man in life. Alright guys, I kind of fucked up. I overfilled it just a little bit. So I guess what happened was when I tried to turn it on, it probably like brought the oil level back up a little bit. Because I only added maybe like two quarts or three quarts and it's already like overfilled. I think it should be fine because once I start the car, it might be lubricating everything else and it brings the level down. Or I'm just bullshitting and I don't know what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is actually drive for the rest of the day. Check the levels again, see if everything is fine. And if it's too much still, I'm going to go ahead to Randy's house and drain out a little bit with the oil. Oh, I miss sitting in here so much. All right guys, so now we're finally gonna start the car for the first time in weeks and see how it goes. Guys, we have a problem. Um, what the fuck was that? Did you guys just hear that or see that? I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Alright guys, so bad news. Um, I called Randy and Luke. And Luke said the only thing happening right now is the starter is trying to start the car. But, I don't know. He said he has to look at it. So change of plans. We can't use the IS today, sadly. I really miss this car. But it doesn't want to cooperate. So to get the day started, um, Peter's been getting sick. And my throat's been hurting. So we decided just go order some food to go and then eat at Kaz's house because we're supposed to hang out. So to get to Kaz's house, we're gonna have to use the main bay. Sadly, the more reliable bay, which is kind of weird to say because this thing used to break on me all the time, but now it's perfect. All right, let's turn this baby on. I think the car's finally warmed up. Let's head to Kaz's house. Well, you guys are a little dirty. All right, guys, now we're at Kaz's house. The car is looking fresh, like always. Damn. I don't know, I never get tired of looking at Kaz's car. It's so freaking clean. And if you guys remember my boy Janibert, this is his girlfriend's car. Kaz has been working on it for the past couple of days, and it's looking clean as fuck, too. My eyes might be broken. <laughs> Because remember how I told you when I came back and I tried to start the car? And then it was hella rough and shit. Yeah, and I, it, and I turned it off. So and I checked the oil over and then today I added the oil, turned it on, it turned off, it went, you hear the exhaust, it died. And after that I tried to turn it, you hear the starter going, but it won't turn over. So I'm like, fuck, dude. So, so and then I called Luke and he has to look at it in person. Worst case, the motor is fucked up. Best case, we can fix the motor. I don't know. Are you sure it's the motor? It could be something else, no? It could be like a harness or something, but the thing is, I didn't touch any harnesses while I was gone. Everything was exactly as I, as I left it, so. Oh. So okay. I don't know. Yeah. Shit. I don't know, whatever. Shit, bro. All right, guys, I'm gonna build my phone. 
in Kaz's room. I can make a mess, yeah? <laughs> now time to add the broth. Hopefully I don't splash. Kaz will beat my ass. Because he's buffaroo now. He goes to the gym, so he could probably beat my ass now. Ooh, look at that meat cooking, dude. Thanks, Horace, for picking up the food. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> now I squeeze some lime in this bitch like this. Damn, this is like fine dining at home. Want to do some cinematics with my hobo? No. <laughs> wow. You gonna pay me? The fuck? All of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to install my LEDs for the prelude today, but I totally forgot at home because I didn't expect does. to drive yeah. it because my IS300 doesn't work no more. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fixed, but as of right now, yeah. we don't know. Oh, Peter's here it. now. Peter's sick as fuck. Uh, yeah. But I told him to gargle some salt water and it helped his throat a lot. So now he could talk. Yeah, dude, it was a life hack. Yeah, so if you guys are sick, get warm water and dissolve it with a lot of salt. Gargle it. Okay, I'm ready. Gargle it, let it sit into your throat, spit it out, keep doing it. And eventually, your throat's gonna be super perfect and yeah, good. Fair. And the first, t uh, the first test I did when I did that, I baked, hit it. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now, we're gonna play Smash for a little bit um, since I forgot my LEDs. But later, I promise we're gonna go out and do some stuff. Now, we're at Pizza Shop. And there's a little bar right there, so I think they're the same owner. So we're gonna grab some pizza, go over there, and eat it with some beer. Just got our pizzas, our beer. Hey, Pinky's up. Pinky's up, boys. Pinky's up. Cheers. Francis told me to try pizza with honey. Bro, life changer. Try this out, bro. I'll try it right now. Try it out. Wait, how much did I put? Like that much? Nah, drizzle it, bro. Like, you know, like no, those I was gonna try commercial. Now, all right, then. Hey, if you're gonna put a little bit, if you're gonna try a little bit. All right. Am I eating dinner or dessert? Both. I told you. But it's too sweet. I see. Yeah, it's, it's preference. It's preference, though. It's bomb. If you put a little bit, I think it'll be good. Yeah. It's pretty bomb. You already know. The honors. Hella extra. <laughs> Amy's pizza be all fucked up. Oh, oh. Call milk shake. Alright, guys, so this is the next day. Last night we didn't do much. All we did was grab milk tea and talk all night. I'm actually gonna do a small install at Kevin Nguyen's house with the boys. So I see you guys when I get there. What's up, guys? Damn, you were hella white right now. Dude, it's only like 3 o'clock, bro. It's actually 4. It's actually 4. Perfect time to drink. <laughs> Look at this. Street legal now? You already know, man. And all right, guys. So Oxbeam, this company over here that makes LEDs, they actually make bolts for like your headlights, reverse lights, parking lights, anything you guys need. They have it available on their website. They were actually nice enough to send me these right here to test out, and I'm pretty sure they can be bright. Cause look at this. These look super crazy. I'm pretty sure this is for my parking lights. Um, this one's for I think my reverse, and this is for my brake. I'm not sure. 
But my brake light is definitely like a little projector in there and I'm pretty sure that's gonna blind people but we won't know until we try, right? So first we're actually gonna replace the small parking light right there on both sides but we can do a little comparison and see which one's brighter. So I twisted it counterclockwise, pulled it out and now it's like this. But first, before we put in the new one, we're gonna actually test how bright this one is compared to the other one. So Vu just turned this on for me, and as you guys can tell, the three on the top actually broke. It doesn't work. Now we put in the new ones and see how they look. Oh, oh, it's a lot brighter, huh? Oh yeah, I guess oh it's my. pretty blinding. Me. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's daytime, but you can actually tell the difference. Like right, this one. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is what it looks like in the daytime when it's in and on. Pretty bright. All right, guys. So I also got reverse lights. This is the old one I had, which is okay, but compared to the new one, Jesus! Like you actually see like the whole housing right here, the whole shape compared to this one right here, which is kind of uh, just a dot. But this one, this one right here looks fucking amazing. <laughs> Because <laughs> the, no, the reason why I wanted to get reverse, and usually people say you know blinds people and stuff. Well, no, actually, because I've known you for a very long time, you've had these reverse bulbs for the fucking longest time ever. Yeah. And every time you reverse, it's just a single dot. Yeah. Like yeah. So technically, you're actually helping the world by showing that you're reversing. Yeah. And, good thing. and the reason why I got that is because um, I retinted them red, mm -hmm. and usually with the this one. If I reverse, I can't see the curb with the yeah. red tent. So that's the reason why I got this, so I can see the curb with the red tent still. It'll actually help a lot better, for sure. Yeah. Good stuff, man. So both of the bulbs for the reverse lights are installed and they look amazing. Even in the daytime, you can see them, which is pretty cool. All right guys, so I have an extra pair of LEDs and I remember why. Uh, I think that they thought the reverse and the parking lights are the same bulbs. So they sent me two pairs when I ordered brake lights and reverse, which is the same size, and this is different. So I guess for the extra pair, I'm actually gonna install it into my license plates light, just to make it look nicer at night. All right guys, so I just cleaned it, and there's a huge difference. Before this little ball thing, it was black. <laughs> now it's clear. Now the cops really are gonna see my fucking license plate. <laughs> it looks like cool. Do you see at night, uh, daytime, not really, huh? No, maybe at night. All right guys, so it's actually too bright right now to show you guys what it looks like. So what I'm doing is actually wait until it gets dark and I'll show you guys all the lights at night. All right guys, so it's finally nighttime and dude, the lights look so fucking crazy. They look sick. Peter's sick, so his voice is like a tranny. <laughs> so these are the front parking lights. This is not even headlight on. This is just that bulb itself. Damn, on camera it even looks a lot brighter than it actually is, which is crazy. So this is the license plate light and it's so much brighter compared to before, especially because we cleaned it too. Step back a little bit and just look at the back of the car. It really just, I don't know, it really just brings it up. When I threw it on, I turned it on. I was like, dude, this looks hella sick. It's one of the things that, like the small things that Matt, like makes a big difference, like the small things that count. Yeah, it actually does. Like, I didn't really care for lights as much, but now like you I can see it now. I can see why people change all the lights and stuff because it looks super crazy. But that's not even the crazy part, guys. All right, but show them the crazy part. My reverse lights are freaking crazy. Like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna say anything right now. Watch, Thomas, just point the camera. All right. Yeah, like, it's so bright. It took the light out of my voice. Jesus. Oh my God. Hey, I'm fucking reversing. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm gonna tent those colors, I'm actually gonna need those. Damn, huh? And if you guys wanna buy any of their bowls or any of their products, please head to the link in the description box below. You know, they have everything. Interior lights, parking lights, headlights, reverse lights, brake lights, anything. Anything you guys want, they will have. And also, I'm hooking you guys up right now. In the description box below, I left a coupon code for you guys to get like a 10% off on your whole purchase. So please head over to the website in the description box below if you guys need any headlight accessories or any lighting, because they have a lot of options. They even sell like a, LED light bar for like your front bumper and all that. For, if you guys have Jeeps 
and that's gonna help you guys a lot. And also for the IS300, um, the motor might be an easy fix, but you know, I'm still learning, all of us are still learning about the motor, so we don't know anything about that right now. I'm gonna wait for Luke to check it out for me because I'm still learning. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the car. Maybe it won't work again, maybe it will. I don't know. And also, we're almost at 100K subscribers, guys. Well, I'm gonna have something special on the 100K. Uh, should I tell them? Yeah, just tell them. All right, guys. So, I would never thought I would ever make clothes because everyone makes clothes, right? Yeah. All of our homies. But Randy convinced me and he's my partner. So, 100K drop, I'm gonna have some clothes ready or some merch. Oh. Uh, Some I, didn't, I didn't even hear about this merch, bro. This is big news to me. Are we see a brand too? Yeah. Is it going to be uh, Thomas? No, it's going to... Don't worry, I can't tell you guys, but... <laughs> I'm going to have it ready by the 100k mark. And by that time, I'm going to have it ready for sale and everything. So, alright guys, this is a secret. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for supporting the whole Eliminate And remember, crew. Thomas was too fast for the paper. <laughs> <laughs> alright, I'll Peace. see you guys next time.